It's my gouge tool again. It sounds like gouging. Gouging your eyes out. Anyway, uh, and I'm going to add more darkness to it a little bit. It's not going to be everywhere, just where it would be darker. So, all the way back here on his neck a little bit, over here, on his ear. Get a feel for it, the muscle structure as well. Um, it's something that I've actually gotten really good at coloring and stuff, muscles and facial expressions and everything because I've seen it and I've done it a lot of times, but I really pay attention to that kind of stuff so that when the time comes where I have to do something like this, color something like this, then I'll, you know, remember what it looked like. So, okay. Put them up here. Okay, cool. So we got ourselves that done. Now, you can always go back and touch up if you ever see you need a little bit more or whatever. We're going to go back to the gouch again and make another layer on top of that. It's always good to name these, but I'm just lazy, so i just gotten used to it. And make your highlights. Highlights usually are more than one color. You'll pick kind of a really, really light and add it. Now, for highlights, I want to make sure that it's kind of small, the size of the brush. Uh, because it's not a lot that I'm going to highlight. I usually don't use highlights a lot. Uh, more shadows and everything. And um, on certain things like my glasses, I'm going to use a lot of highlighting. But so we're going to go and we're going to do this. Highlightations, which is a real word. And just adds a little bit to it, not a lot. But, um, yeah, that's good. Okay, so that's our highlight. Uh, you can also put a little secret of mine. It's not really a secret, so I got lost there. It is the backlight. I usually use for backlight blue because it's a really good color to backlight with. But I mean, it gets overdone after a while. So, but I'm still going to use blue this time because it's the easiest one. Backlight. I'm basically just going to. Wherever the shadow is, in the very corner of it, I'm going to put a little bit of light coming from over here. Right here. I'll put it on the hair, but I don't have any of the hair colored yet. And a little bit on the nose. Okay? So I'm going to go and I'm going to blend that in. Make the blender a little bit smaller. There we go. Blend that in. And basically that's going to give us more dimension uh, to our... But, um, yeah, it's going to give it a little bit more dimension so that it looks, you know, I don't know, like it's popping out more. There's more 3D-ness to it, which is basically the word dimension don't down. Sorry, I don't think you're stupid. Anyway, and it's not all that much, but it actually adds really nice, especially in bigger areas like, uh, once I get to the hair, or once I get to his shirt and everything, you'll really notice it, and it'll, it'll help out a lot. Anyway, that's my basic tutorial. Looks weird right now. Only his face is shaded. But that's my basic tutorial for doing flat colors and basic shading and highlighting and everything. Um, might do a couple more if this goes well. So, thanks for watching, suckers. Ha! <laughs>